guys, Laura with Evolution Pilates Studio here to bring you a full body tower workout. You can do this workout on a tower like I have attached to my wall, or you could also use a Pilates Cadillac. So use the equipment that you have. As far as springs go today, we will be using the push through bar. We will also be using some short yellow springs with handles on for some arm work and core work and then later on we will also be using some long purple springs for our leg series so have those things handy and uh, we will get started Two more each way. 
trying to keep the shoulder blades evenly weighted on the mat. One more each side. And last time here. And then we'll just do a few more, just thinking about the movement slightly differently. So let's move our knees over to the right. And then in order to come back center, let's bring our left ribs, our left waistline, and our left hips back down to the mat. Bring your knees over to the left, and then the right ribs, the right waistline and the right hip come down to the mat. And again, over to the right, left ribs, left waistline, left hip. Over to the left, right ribs, right waistline, right hip. One more each way. And last time through. Beautiful. Bring all ten toes back down to the mat. Inner thighs are still together. From here, exhale and curl the head, neck, and chest up just to the bottom tips of the ribs and then lower the spine back down. And again, exhale, sliding the front ribs down to the hips and then inhale. Let's do four more. So not a huge movement here, just warming up the upper back. The last two. And last time. Beautiful job. Let's lower down. We're going to take our left hand to the center of the bar and turn our palm to face us. Then we're going to take our right hand behind the head. From here, curling the head, neck, and chest up and rotating to the right. And then lowering the head, neck, and chest down, bringing the shoulder blade back down to the mat. And rotate. And lower. Now you can stay here both, all ten toes down on the mat, or if you'd like to, just bring your right knee into tabletop and continue on. If you'd like to progress any further, extend your opposite leg out on a diagonal and just keep going. Rotating to the right, pressing that bar up towards the sky. Nice job, both hips are equally weighted on that mat. Good, let's do four more here. And three. And last time through. Come back, center, lower both feet down. Let's switch out our hands. So right hand comes to the center of the bar, palm facing your forehead. Bring your other hand behind your head. And now let's exhale and rotate to the left. Inhale, come down in center. Again, if you'd like, bring your left knee into tabletop. And then also option to extend the right leg long. Let's do four more here. And three. And last time through. Lower the head down, lower the toes down. Good, lower that bar down for a moment. Arms down by the sides, heels in line with the sit bones. Let's articulate the spine up into a nice bridge, extending from the shoulder to the knee in one nice long line. Inhale here and then exhale, peel the spine back down to the mat. Let's do two more just like that, rolling the spine up and rolling the spine down. And last time. And rolling the spine down. Bring your feet totally together, grab onto that bar one more time, bring it right above your shoulders. And now let's roll the spine back up and roll the spine back down. Adding just, again, a little bit of gentle pressure forward on that push through bar. Last time here. Beautiful. From here, bring your right knee into tabletop. Let's roll the spine up into a single leg bridge and roll the spine down. Two more. 
As you come back down to the mat, try to evenly weight through both sides of the pelvis at the same moment. The last time, let's keep our hips lifted, extend the right toes towards the ceiling, and quickly lower and lift that leg for five, four, three, two, and last time. Bend the knee, lower the hips all the way down, and let's switch it out to the other side. Uh, left knee comes into tabletop, articulate your single leg bridge, and articulate it down. And three, and two, the last time, Stay lifted, extend your left toes and quickly lower and lift, lower and lift for three, two, and last time. Bend that knee into tabletop and let's slowly roll the spine all the way down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to use our arm springs. I'm just going to sneak my arm springs through to the front here. Staying where you are, let's bring our hands into our straps. I'm going to shift a little bit further away from my tower, just so I can increase my tension a little bit on my springs. My feet are down for now, inner thighs are together. Exhale those arms down by the hips, and inhale, control the rise. Exhale, and inhale. Option to float the knees into tabletop, spine is in neutral and keep on going for four and three last time everybody bring your knees into tabletop from here as the arms come down to the earth so will the left toes and then float it up and switch right toes and lift left toes and lift Beautiful for five, four, three, keeping those collarbones nice and wide, last two, and last time. Keep the knees in tabletop, turn the palms to face your body, and then open the arms out to a T and back in. Inhale, open, exhale, close. I'm gonna start to turn my legs out into a frog position, where my knees are apart, my heels are together, my feet are flexed. As my arms come out to the side, I'm gonna start extending my legs long and then draw the knees back in as the arms come into the hips. Similar to double leg stretch, but the head is down here. For four, and three. And last time. Beautiful. Bring those toes back down to the ground. Elbows hug in towards the ribs. Let's just extend those arms forward and then bend the elbows. That's it. Bring those knees into tabletop, elbows bend to 90 degrees, and let's start coordination here. So as we extend our arms, our legs extend as well, then we open and close the legs, then we bend the knees, and we bend the elbows. And again, extend everything, open, close the legs, bend the knees, bend the elbows. For the last four, you have the option to lift your head, neck, and chest up as the arms and legs extend. So here we go, exhale, open, close, bend knees, bend elbows, lower head, and three more, exhale, open, close, bend knees, bend elbows, lower head, last two. And one more. And rest, very nice job. <clears throat> excuse me, roll over onto your side. Let's come all the way up into a kneeling position, facing in towards our tower. 
So again, you've still got those arm springs attached just about your shoulder height, maybe slightly above your shoulder height. I'm gonna come back away from the tower just a little bit here. My toes are together, my knees are apart. If you need to add extra cushion underneath your knees, feel free. From here, press those arms down and back, and then slowly control the return to the tower. When I'm working with my arm springs, I like to keep a little bit of tension on the springs throughout, so I never fully release the spring tension. Let's do four more like this. Exhaling as the arms come back. Three. Last two. Last one, adding one just a little bit. As the arms press back, I want you to think about flexing the upper back forward and then lifting the spine long as the arms come forward. Exhale, upper back, rounds forward, and then extend the spine. Let's do three more here. And two. And last time. Beautiful, come back into that forward flexion with the upper body. Arms by the sides, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Kneeling, hundred, and exhale. And three breaths, and exhale. We're just doing five, and inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. And beautiful, stand up. Give those triceps a break. Beautiful job. Let's cross our straps. So I've got a nice little diagonal here. And we're gonna pull the left elbow back as we lean towards the center of the room and then stand up and come center. Let's stay on that same side here. So exhale, rotate, lengthen, and lift. Exhale, rotate, lengthen, and lift for four. And three. Last two. And one more time. Same thing, other side. Rotate. And stand tall. I'm just gonna switch my cross of my strap so mine doesn't make any more noise for you guys. Rotate and lengthen back and center. Beautiful, so your pelvis is pressing forward the whole time. Last four. You should feel some work in those quadriceps, last three. And last time through. Very nice job. Let's turn all the way around. So we're facing away from our tower, grabbing onto those handles, facing forward. Come away from your tower as much as you want to. Bring those arms down by the sides. Toes together, knees apart. I'm squeezing my glutes and I'm gonna lean into the wind a little bit. From here, don't let the um, springs push you around. Keep your body nice and still as you bring the arms forward and up, and then control them back down. And again, forward and up, and back down. Exhaling on that lift, inhaling on that lower. Good, so especially on these arm exercises at the tower, you really do have control over how much tension you have on your spring. So if you need less tension, just scoot yourself a little bit, to bit back towards your tower. If you need more tension, Scoot yourself away. And last three. And two. And last time through. Beautiful. From here, one arm is gonna come high, one arm is gonna come low. And we're going to wrap those arms around us, rounding through the spine a bit. Fingertips come towards one another and then lengthen back out on our diagonal. We'll stay on this side for a few more. Exhale, round, fingertips come towards one another, 
And then inhale, expand the arms, expand the chest. Exhale, four more. And three. The last two. And one more time. Come back center. Feel free to reset at any point. Bring your other arm high and the other low. So this is almost like an alligator, big alligator mouth, right? So we round the upper back as the hands come towards one another. And then we extend as the arms open. Last three. And two. And one more to go. Good. One more exercise here. So elbows come right in front of the shoulders. I need to scooch back a little bit. My forearms are parallel to one another. Shoulder blades are down the back. We're going to press our fingertips up on a diagonal line. Bring the hands forward of the shoulders. Bring the whole level of the arm down. And then control the springs, elbows still as you bend your elbows back to 90 degrees. And again, so we press out on a high diagonal, lower those arms down, and then bend the elbows to 90 degrees. And again, here we go, up, long arms down, and bend, and up, long arms down, and bend. Let's do three more, and two, And one more. Very nice job. Come on back. Just lower those springs down. Very nice job. Okay, so we're going to take those yellow springs off to get them out of our way. And then we put our purple springs back on, or our purple spring, leg springs on. On my tower, I'm putting them on at a level four. If you're on a catwalk, I would say when you're laying down, they'll be about knee height. So we're coming back down onto our back. I'm going to scooch myself away from my tower till I'm almost a whole arm's distance away. And then bring my feet into my straps. Your arms can be down by your sides here, but if you feel like you're slipping, you could put your hands up on your bar or poles if you have them. We'll start with our knees in frog here. Tailbone nice and heavy. <clears throat> Crown of the head reaching towards the wall behind you. Heels together, knees apart. Let's push our legs out across the room and then control the springs on the way in. Inhale out and exhale in. Beautiful. Adding a little toe reach on the extension. So point the toes and then flex the feet as you bend the knees. Point and reach, flex and bend. Point and reach, flex and bend. For four. And three. Last time, let's hold those legs long. You're still in external rotation. We'll lift our long legs up towards the ceiling and then reach them forward and down. Finding that neutral spine and maintaining that neutral spine as you lift the legs towards the sky. So that tailbone anchors into the mat. For four. And three. Reach all the way across the room with those legs. Last time. We'll bring the legs halfway up. There's tension on my springs. I'm going to keep my left leg exactly where it is and just open the right leg out to the right and bring it back in center. We'll stay on that side for six. And five. Good, now I can feel my shoulders and my pelvis trying to move to the right. So try your best to stay nice and centered here. Last two. And last time. 
Reach through both toes and then switch to the other side. Left leg opens, left leg closes. For four. And three. Last time, hold the heels together. You're still in that externally rotated position. Let's do baby, tiny little circles the size of a Cheerio. Nice for eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Reverse for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Cross the ankles. Take the shape of the ankles towards the ceiling. Cross the ankles, take the shape back towards the floor. And again, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and up, and down, for four, and three, nice and controlled movements here, last two, last time. We've got one more exercise to come. So you're gonna bring those heels back together, bend the knees halfway in so you have a diamond shape between the legs. We're gonna lower that diamond shape forward and down, extend the legs long at the bottom, and then lift our long legs back up. Bend back into your diamond, take that diamond shape down, extend the legs long, and lift your long legs back up. Bend back into your diamond, lower, extend, and lift. Last two in this direction, and last time, and let's reverse it. So we go down with long legs, bend into our diamond and take our diamond shape up, extending the legs at the top. Down with long legs, diamond, diamond shape up, and extend for three, and two, almost like you're swimming, Last time. Very nice job. Before we take those straps off our feet, let's bend our knees, grab onto our straps or our metal clips, and then just give our inner thighs a little rest there. Very nice. Let's take our straps off. Good. From here, prop yourself up. I'm going to take my purple straps completely off my tower. <coughs> and place my push through bar up here with both my red spring and my blue spring. Okay, you may not need both, but I appreciate the help of both springs for this next set. So we're gonna lay down, facing in towards our tower. If you don't have grippy socks, make sure that you have a grip on your bar, that you feel nice and stable here, or wrap some grippy tape around your bar. Now I'm gonna extend my legs long, so I've got a good grip on my bar with my feet. Heels together, toes apart, hands come back behind the head. I'm just going to start by bending the knees in towards the chest as I lift my head, neck, and chest up, and then pressing my bar away as I lower my head, neck, and chest down. Exhale, curl and lift. Inhale, lower and extend. Exhale, curl and lift. Inhale, lower and extend. I'm going to do three more like that, and two, and one more time. Very nice job. From here, bend the knees, back in, curl the head, neck, and chest back up, and reach towards your outer shins for double leg stretch. So legs extend, arms go Overhead, out to the sides, around and back in. Overhead, around and back in. Last three. And two, upper body is in forward flexion throughout. Last time. Very nice job. Extend those legs long. Bring your hands back behind your head and just bring your left knee into tabletop. Bring your left toes down and switch. And switch. 
making sure you have a good grip on that bar with whatever foot is left on there for four and three and two and last one let's add rotation into the mix so as the left knee it bends in towards you rotate towards it reach that leg back forward and switch to the other side reach that leg back forward and switch Last two, and last time. Beautiful. Bend the knees back in from here. Leave your right toes on the bar. Extend that leg away from you and rotate to the left. Come on back in and bend the knee. So just a different variation on that rotation. For three, and two, Last one, stay in rotation through the upper body and just bend and stretch the right leg. For four and three. And last time, come back center and let's replace our feet and switch to the other side. So, rotating and then coming back center. Push and rotate, and come back center for four, and three, last time here, stay in rotation, and just bend and stretch the leg that's on the foot bar for four, Last two, and last time. Come back down through center. Extend those legs. I'm gonna scooch myself a little closer to the tower. I feel like I've moved just a little bit. Arms down by the sides. All 10 toes are on that foot bar. Keep the spine nice and neutral, tailbone heavy. Bring the knees in towards the chest and then extend the legs up towards the ceiling. And again, bend the knees in towards the chest and extend the legs forward towards the tower. Good. Let's do one more like this. towards the ceiling, let's articulate our spine up off of the mat. So tailbone comes up and off, reaching those toes up towards the ceiling, finding one nice long line from shoulders to toes, and then peeling the spine all the way back down. Bend the knees, reach the feet towards the tower, and we will repeat. Bend the knees, extend the legs, and peel the spine up. Peel the spine back down, tailbone goes heavy, and then we bend the knees and extend the legs. One more like this. Good, on this next round, let's bend the knees, reach the toes towards the ceiling, lift the hips up, and stay with the hips lifted, just bending the knees a little bit and then extending those legs again. And bend the knees, and extend the legs for four, and three, And one more. 
more to go. Very nice job. Lower the hips down. Extend the bar forward. Make sure you've got a very good grip on that bar. You could almost even come to your arches instead of your toes here for more support. We are going to do a roll up here with our feet on the bar. So you're going to bring those hands over the shoulders. Take a breath, inhale, and then exhale, peel your spine up off of the mat, coming all the way to seated, reaching forward towards the bar. Just give yourself a nice little stretch here. And then sit up nice and tall and peel your spine back down, continually reaching energy into your feet as you roll the spine away from the bar. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands over shoulders. Good grip on the bar as we roll the spine up. Take that nice forward fold, let the heels drop maybe. Take that nice little stretch. Lift the spine back up and let's roll down one last time. Inhaling, exhaling, peeling the spine back up and off. Grabbing onto that bar. Heels together, toes apart here. Making sure you feel nice and centered. Let's bend our knees into our chest, rocking our weight behind our tailbone, and then pushing the foot bar, or the push-through bar, up towards the ceiling. Finding that beautiful stretch to the back of the hamstrings. From here, you can extend one leg long and switch to the other side, walking through the feet. Nice job. Good, extending both legs, heels together, toes apart. Let's bend the knees towards the chest, pivoting over the tailbone, and then pushing that bar forward towards the wall in front of us. Good, extending the legs, finding that nice forward fold. Let's do two more at a little quicker pace. So we'll bend the knees towards our chest, shift the hips back, and reach the toes up towards the ceiling, and then bend the knees towards the chest, shift our weight forward into the feet, and extend the bar towards the wall. Last time through, bend the knees, and reach the legs to the sky, and bend the knees, shift the weight into the feet, and push the bar towards the wall. Take one more nice little forward fold here. Keep hold of the bar with your hands, and then carefully, carefully lift the bar back up. Good. From here, let's come to kneeling. <clears throat> Facing sideways um, to our tower. We'll just hold onto that bar here, and then we're just gonna do a little pull down with that bar, so nice and simple here. Even weight through both knees, spine is nice and long. Little exhale for four and three, really trying to isolate through that shoulder blade. Last two and last time. Beautiful. Take an overhand grip on your bar, press the bar away from you, lengthen your other arm by your side. From here, let's just push the bar away, coming into a bit of lateral flexion, a beautiful stretch through the sides of the ribs and then lifting back up nice and tall. And again, over. And lift. And last time, trying to keep even weight through both kneecaps the whole entire time. Beautiful, last one like this. Good, and then if it feels comfortable, you can reach this other arm up by the ear and just increasing the stretch, reaching over and then lifting up nice and tall. And again, over. And up, last two. And one more, over. Let's stay over and just rotate our top ribs slightly down, reaching through the pinky side of our hand and finding that really nice stretch through the sides of the waist. Good, open the chest back to the front and come up to high kneeling. Let's turn all the way around. Other hand goes other hand on the bar. And we very simply just pull that bar down 
initiating that movement through the shoulder blade and release. And again, pull and release. Last three. And last time. Good. Switching to an overhand grip. Pressing that arm long. Bar goes down. Even weight through both knees. And so we just reach the bar towards the wall. Lifting our top ribs. And then growing tall as we stack the spine. And again, press. And lift. Let's do two more here. And one more. Good, stacking the spine up nice and tall. Option to float that other arm up by the ear and just leaning over. And lifting up. Last two here. And one more. Good. Coming all the way up, carefully releasing that bar. Let's lay down on our back. Bar right above the shoulders. Hands shoulder distance apart. Our knees will come up into a tabletop position here. Shins parallel to the floor. Take a big breath, inhale. Bend the elbows and press the arms slightly back behind you, keeping the elbows narrow. And then bringing that bar up above the head again, pressing the bar up to the ceiling, lifting our torso up off of the mat, finding our beautiful teaser. Knees stay bent here, and then roll the spine down, one vertebra at a time. Shoulders come down, elbows narrow, press the bar back. Bring the bar back forward and up. And reach the bar towards the sky. Let's do two more like this. And last time through. Very nice job. Lower the upper body down. Let's extend the legs nice and long on the mat. Inner thighs together, hands long right above the shoulders. From here, bend the elbows in narrow, press the bar back. And then as the bar comes back overhead, let's lift up into our teaser. You can come up into knees bent or legs extended. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower everything down simultaneously. And two more just like that. And one more time. Beautiful. So this last time we're going to come up into our teaser. Pause at the top. Knees bent or straight, take one arm forward, release the bar, take the other arm forward, hold your beautiful teaser for four, three, two, and one. Cross those knees and sit up nice and tall. Beautiful. From here, we're going to finish standing. I'm going to take my blue spring off, so I'm left with just my red spring on my push through bar, feet underneath the hips, soft arms distance from the bar. Grown nice and tall through the back of the neck. Nice long arms. Press that bar forward and down, rounding the spine. Even weight through the big toes and the pinky toes. Pull the bar towards you, lifting up into back extension. Push the bar away from you, rounding the spine. And round all the way up to stand. Let's do that three more times. So you round as you press. You pull the bar into you, extending. You press the bar away from you, rounding. And you lift up to stand. Two more to go. Round. 
lengthen, lower, and pull. One more time, round. Lengthen, lower, and pull. Beautiful job, guys, today. Thank you so much for being here for me, with me, for this tower class. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. Thank you for coming, and I will see you next time. Bye.